here is the main circuit from which this is the sensor module this takes the vibration sensors from the shoe and transmit to the main circuit now we come to the main circuit which consists of lm triple phi ic timer which is made by ti and a pic 16f 877a which is made by microchip as we follow we see the ti max 232 ic which is used for serial communications between the computer and the microchip now i'll explain the sensor module in brief as you can see this is the piezoelectric plate which is connected to a spring a capacitor a potentiometer which varies the sensitivity and the range of the vibration which can be given as the input an led to mention that the vibration is being received as we turn the uh, sensor module backwards we can see the lm358 ic which is again made by ti now this has a few supporting external peripherals such as the zener diode the uh, diodes in4001a the resistors the capacitor and uh, and some and other external peripherals now this potentiometer is directly connected to the uh, second and third pin of the lm358 now this as we vary the ranges of the potentiometer we can we can increase we can increase or decrease the range of the vibration which can which this or which the piezoelectric plate senses now the piezoelectric plate it consists of the material beta pvdf which is piezoelectric in nature that is when you apply a pressure an emf is produced now this spring acts supports the piezoelectric plate at times when the person is not in motion let us assume that you walk, a person keeps walking for a certain amount of time and suddenly decides to stop at a place even when the person stops even though there is no pressure which is being applied on the plate directly this spring still keeps vibrating for, uh, until uh, so that there is no disruption of power continuously to the circuit now we come to the general circuit once the vibration sensor receives the uh, input signal it's then transmitted to the uh, general circuit for further processing as you can see here this the electronics on the general circuit can either be powered by using a transformer or a battery now if the transformer is being used here you can see a bridge rectifier circuit that rectifies the 230 volt dc into a 5 volt dc for to the uh, to power the electronic components else if you want to use a battery which is more portable in nature you have a direct power voltage regulator voltage regulator here which regulates the voltage in order for the other electronics to be powered on board now we come to the lm triple phi ic which receives a negative triggering pulse from the sensor module now this ic is being used in the mono stable operation in this mode of operation the timer functions as a one shot the external capacitor is initially held discharged by a transistor inside the timer upon application of a negative trigger pulse from the sensor module at less than some 0.33 times the input voltage to pin 2 the flip flop is set which both releases the short circuit across the capacitor and drives the output high the voltage across the capacitor then increases exponentially and at the end at the end of which the voltage equals 2 by 3 times the, the input voltage the capacitor then re then resets the flip flop and discharges the capacitor and drives the output to its low state in which case this led switches on and switches off as long as there is a negative triggering pulse now we come to the microcontroller pic 16f 877a in order for this microcontroller to function properly we need a few external peripherals such as the crystal oscillator a reset switch and a few capacitors now in all situations it may not it may not be the case where the output signal is being directly sent to the output rather you might have to wait for a certain threshold and then send the output to the load in that case the microcontroller can be combined with a few other external peripherals and then you be used for that purpose in the following frames show that the core which has been burnt into the microcontroller for now the max 232 ic is now combined with the filter circuit why is because once we start communicating between the computer and the microcontroller you may not be receiving exact pulses or exact trigger signals so now to prevent that we to and to increase the to make the communication between the computer and the microcontroller better we using the filter circuit here we are using a lead acid battery with a voltage rating of 6 volt and current rating of 4.5 ampere hour as the power source for the electronics on board however this battery can also be replaced by rechargeable aa batteries of having voltage rating of 1.5 volt moreover those batteries can be self recharged by the circuit itself here we look at the final output for the holes for the circuit as you can see we used a fan here which which operates in the range of 6 to 10 volts 
This fan has been used with, can always be replaced by any electronic device or rechargeable alkaline batteries for, for, for recharging or for any other usage purposes. Now we see the output. As you can see, when I touch, when I tap the board, there's vibrations is sensed by the sensor and we're getting an output. The output of the circuit has been divided into two parts. The one which gives the low, the low load, which is connected to an LED here, and the one which gives a 12 volt output connected through the relay via the, to the output. Now, as I tap here, it, th there's an output. The sensitivity of the vibration or the range for which the sensor can detect the vibration can be changed by varying the potentiometer here. Now, we connect the sensor to the shoe, of this, to the shoe for a practical usage of this circuit. Now, we place the sensor at the sole of a shoe. We have cut out this placer to accommodate the sensor. Now, as you can see, the sensor has been integrated into the heel of the shoe. Now, we show the practical demonstration when the shoe is in motion. As you can see here, the output, when the shoe is move, moving, the vibration is detected by the sensor and the output is being, and, the, and there is an output. When the person stops, there is still an, there is still a constant output which is due to the spring and this spring helps in providing undisrupted power even when the person is standing still. And there is always a delay of one second before every input signal is received by the output.